Hello, my name is Greg Oliver. I am here with Cole Maxson. We are from Agathon Solar, a Michigan-based solar installation company that also services the U.S. Virgin Islands. Today we're going to film a series of videos that is geared towards helping the do-it-yourself client size his own solar and battery system. There will be three videos in this series. The first video will be how to size your inverter, and we're going to use the Solark inverter as an example. The second video will be how to size your energy storage system or your battery system, and we're going to use the Cowent stackable S40K as an example. And then the last video will be how to size your solar array to both power your loads or provide enough energy during the day and for the evening. During these videos, you will also see some screenshot presentations with actual examples that Cole will provide and will talk through on the screen on how to determine what size equipment, inverter, battery, and solar panels that you need. I'd like to give you a brief overview of the equipment that you see here today. As mentioned earlier, this is a Solark hybrid inverter. This is a 12,000 watt inverter or 12K. This is the lithium ion ferrous phosphate Cowent stackable energy solution. In here you see a Savant smart energy load management system or Savant power. Basically, you have a companion module that controls an overcurrent protection device or a breaker, and you can shed loads and manage and monitor your energy usage to effectively utilize your battery. Lastly, you see in EMP, these devices protect against lightning strikes, solar flares, and electronic magnetic pulse. So today's topic is how to size your inverter. I'd like to open up this inverter to give you a better look at the inside. The inverter is what takes the power from the solar panels and provides power to your electrical panel. If you anticipate having on a number of breakers all at once when the power goes out, when the utility grid goes down, you have to add up your breakers. Say you have a mini split, an on-demand hot water heater, and a well pump that all could run at once. Say the mini split is on a 40 amp breaker, the well pump is on a 20 amp breaker, the on-demand hot water heater is on a 20 amp breaker. Well, there is 80 amps of potential breakers on at one time. So your inverter should be sized to meet that instantaneous demand. An overcurrent protection device or a breaker should be 25% sized over the actual load that is on it. So just to keep the numbers easy for my poor math abilities, we're just gonna say you may need 60 amps of total power when the grid goes down. Having understood the 12K's ability in a grid down situation with 37.5 amps of power, let's now talk about the ability of this inverter to pass through power when the grid is up. So if the grid is up, the inverter will pass through 67.5 amps. So if you have a critical loads panel wired to this load breaker, when the grid goes down, the inverter will internally transfer and isolate itself from the grid, the battery will produce, your solar will produce, and you'll have a microgrid. When the grid is up, the power is going to pass through to the critical loads panel. It will give you 67.5 amps of pass through power to your critical loads panel. So once again, we must ask ourselves, even when the grid is up, what all can I have in that critical loads panel and expect to use at the same time? You would again have to add those breakers up Derate them by 25%, then you will know the number of appliances that you can power with pass-through power while the grid is up. Hello everyone, I'm going to show you real quick how to size an inverter for your system. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is look at your breaker panel 
and see the breaker sizes for your loads. Uh, for example, the mini split here with the 40 amp breaker, hot water heater with 20 amp, and cistern pump with 20 amp. Now, your things like your fridges, lights, fans, those are typically going to be combined on a 15 amp breaker or multiple 15 amp breakers distributed throughout the house. After you determine your breakers and what kind of loads you've got, you're going to then take 75% of what that breaker rating is for the current of that device. Now this is going to be the absolute maximum current of those devices, but it's not going to be the constant current. These are going to regularly be running at much lower power, but for the sake of demonstration we've got it this way. So after you take your wattage, you're going to find how many of those devices you've got. So you might have just one mini split and one fridge, but you may have five lights, you may have several cell phones. So those are going to be multiple devices that are going to need to be accounted for. We're going to then combine what those wattages are to get your total maximum usage. Now this value here is going to determine the maximum amount of power that the system is going to draw. If, let's say, you want to go with the 12K or even the 8K instead of the 15K, then you would have to, in essence, load shed your mini split and then you can use it. You can also do the same thing with turning off your hot water heater and just using your pump and your mini split and that doesn't help too much but if you take off the pump then it opens you up to use the 8k or the 12k finally we're going to find your total usage per day which will be used in further videos so you're going to take your combined usage Multiply that by the amount of hours per day that the items are going to run, and that will give you your usage per day, which will give you the total usage. And this number will be used to determine your PV array and batteries in a future video. The 12K Solark also has other abilities, as do other models of the hybrid inverter. With this generator breaker, you can put in a manual rollout generator or you could have a whole home backup generator wired in to this generator breaker. If it's a manual rollout generator, it needs to at least provide 220 volts of AC power. If it does not have remote start, you would have to go out and start that manual generator and change some settings in here. Then that power would pass through, power the loads in the house and charge your batteries if they had reached a depth of discharge setting that you had previously set. A whole home generator, if it has remote two wire start, this inverter would tell that generator to start and it would tell it to turn back off as the loads had been powered and as the battery was sufficiently charged. Another use of this generator breaker is to AC couple. Say you currently have some in-phase micro inverters and you would like to add energy storage to it and you like the flexibility of the Solark and the cost effectiveness of the Cohen solution. Well, you could AC couple your power from those microinverters into this generator breaker, which would again pass through and charge the battery, effectively giving you a microgrid. So this solution is good for a retrofit, good for a new installation, good for residential grid tied, residential off-grid, commercial grid tied, and commercial off-grid solutions. All of these components that we have discussed today and used as examples for system sizing can be purchased at Plaza Extra East on St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Plaza Extra East also ships to St. John, St. Thomas, and other islands throughout the Caribbean. Plaza Extra East also has other components, solar panels, energy storage systems, and inverters that were not discussed here today. It is necessary for the do-it-yourself person to work through the exercises and calculations to size your own system. This will ensure that your investment of financial resources and time is well spent and that the system 
will serve your goals long term for you and your family or you and your business. Agathon Solar is here to support you in this endeavor. We will review your calculations and help you design a system that will meet your specific goals and needs. We provide single line diagrams, remote consultation, on-site tech support, and full permit packages as they are needed. Please feel free to reach out to us at info at agathonsolar.com. This is Greg Oliver with Agathon Solar, and we hope that we have enabled you, the do-it-yourself customer, to secure his own power for his home, family, and business.